Here is Jalissa Hines with a Wednesday feature on the Guild of Servants of the Sanctuary Diocese of Guyana. The Guild of Servants of the Sanctuary, or GSS, is an organization in the Anglican Church consisting of altar servers. The objective of the Guild of Servants of the Sanctuary is to raise the spiritual tone of altar servers, promote a diligent performance of duties, and encourage frequent attendance at the Holy Eucharist in addition to time and duty. President of the Guild of Servants of the Sanctuary Diocese of Guyana, Ryan Philadelphia, shared a little about his journey in GSS during an interview with this newscast. I started as a server at St. Paul's Anglican Church Pleasants. Started serving in 2009. Yes, I've been a server for the past 30 years. In 2015, I was elected as the Vice President of the said Guild Servants of the Sanctuary. And of lately, in 2021, December, I was elected President. On December 5, 2021, the new executive body of GSS Diocese of Guyana was installed at the St. George's Cathedral in Georgetown. The executive members are Ryan Philadelphia, President, German Braffitt, Vice President, Letitia David, Secretary, Carville Gillis, Treasurer, Ria Smith, Assistant Secretary, Noel Suchi, Assistant Treasurer, Patrick Chase, and Rochelle Williamson, Committee Members. Philadelphia then highlighted the benefits of being the President of GSS. I'm elated to be the President. You know, it's given me exposure of a responsibility. This has given me a chance to be a better person, closer to God. It gives me full responsibility to focus more on all the serving. And I'm a better individual. The GSS Diocese of Guyana would host several activities, which include rallies, trips, and server summer camps. The last major event of GSS Diocese of Guyana was a youth and service camp at the All Saints Anglican Church. GSS also hosted activities in collaboration with other organizations in the diocese. President Philadelphia went on to disclose some of the activities GSS plans to execute this year. Our proposed activities for 2022 are Lenten Retreat, which was held today at the Church of Transfiguration. We have a service training at St. Sweden's Freedom Hope on the 21st of May. Also, we'll be having a youth rally at the said church in Sweden on the 26th of June. Okay. Also, we'll be having a nativity scene later on in the December at Austin House, also a concert. Altar servers originated in the 9th century when young boys assumed the role of ordained acolytes, a Greek word meaning attendant. They performed most of the functions of the former minor order of ordained clerics. Church writings from the 2nd and 3rd centuries gave the role of acolytes great importance and honor. In conclusion, Philadelphia revealed what he hopes to achieve as president of GSS Diocese of Guyana. Sorbers being active, I would like to see servers not only just come into the service ministry and be servers, but also take the other step of becoming lay ministers or even priests. Yeah, I would be looking forward to, to seeing that. That would be my personal goal to influence persons to not only be an altar server, but also be a lay minister or priest, be more active in the church or in the parish. Altar service's primary role is to assist the priest during the celebration of the Holy Communion. Special prayers are recited by altar servers before and after the service. In the Anglican Church, altar servers can be male or female and can begin serving at the age of five years old. Serving God as an altar server is a wonderful way for a child to grow in faith 
as well as responsibility and friendship. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Julissa Hines.